Paramount Global CEO Bob Bakish is expected to step down Monday amid contentious talks to merge with Skydance Media and ahead of the company's quarterly earnings later that afternoon. Bakish has clashed with Paramount controlling shareholder Sherry Redstone, who questioned whether the CEO pursued strategic opportunities for the company aggressively enough, including a potential sale of the Showtime channel. At the same time, Bakish has privately argued against the Skydance deal because it dilutes common shareholders. With tensions running high, Paramount is now expected that Bakish will be replaced on an interim basis with an office of the CEO, comprised of the company's division heads ahead of Paramount's earnings release after market on Monday. In order to quell shareholders, Redstone and independent film producer David Ellison have both offered concessions to make the deal more appealing to the company's other investors. Both sides are trying to seal a deal in the face of a major shareholder revolt. The ousting of Bakish would add a layer of chaos to a pivotal time for Paramount, home to CBS, MTV, BET, and Hollywood studio Paramount Pictures. Gabelli, the second leading voting shareholder next to Redstone, recently expressed a preference for Bakish to continue his turnaround strategy over a sale. Bakish removal would mark a somewhat surprising turn of events for the exec, who had been viewed as Redstone's right hand. As Redstone and the Paramount board inch closer to a deal with Skydance, Bakish has sought out alternatives. Bakish has quietly pursued other deal conversations, even as Redstone pushed forward with Skydance talks. Meanwhile, Redstone had grown tired of Bakish, blaming him for the company's overall predicament and what she views as missed chances to strike sound deals. Ellison has put his best and final offer on the table with the offer to buy a block of Paramount shares. Should a deal go through, privately owned Skydance would be valued at $5 billion and merged with Paramount. Ellison, along with private equity firms KKR and Redbird, plan to raise about $4.5 billion to $5 billion in new equity. If a deal gets inked, Ellison is expected to be named CEO of Paramount Global and former NBC Universal CEO Jeff Schell as president. If the Skydance deal falls through, Warner Brothers, Sony, and Apollo Global are said to be standing on the sidelines, ready to jump in if given the opportunity.